So welcome to my reaction to the new Nintendo Direct. Yes, the rumors were flying. Everybody was saying, are we getting a Nintendo Direct? Thousands of videos were made online. And guess what? We got it. And the rumors, for the most part, were true. We got a lot of really interesting games mentioned today. And a few that absolutely were not mentioned that I must admit, I was disappointed to not see there. So I'll ask you guys, what did you think of the new Nintendo Direct? Were you impressed? Were you happy? Were you disappointed? Let me know in the comment section down below. But let's get into it. I'm going to start off with my true reaction to the one game that blew me away. And yes, it leaked online, unfortunately, but I was watching the conference and as soon as I heard the music, I was like, I know what this is. And that was for Super Mario RPG. It was right in the beginning and I was kind of getting a little bit like, uh, are we going to see anything? And then the music started. I'll just let this play right now. Oh, good. Super Mario RPG. I know that music in a second. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god. It's actually true. Oh, right here. Right here. Oh man. This is so good. This news really, really excited me and really made me happy. I have my copy right here. I've had it since I was 22 years old. I bought it launch day because I liked RPGs. I liked Mario and uh, I love the Super Nintendo. Love Squaresoft. Squaresoft is making a Mario game and an RPG. I was sold back then and it was very charming and it was a little bit darker as well and I think that's what made it so cool and it's become a classic of all time. A lot of us older people have been talking about it for years and I'm so glad that it's going to be remade so a brand new audience can experience it and it's it's really charming and it's something that as I get older it's so amazing to me that they're remaking a lot of the games that I grew up with and I think it's fantastic and it goes to show that a lot of those old games a lot of those old retro games still hold up to this day and Nintendo still thinks it's important to release them it still holds them in high regard and I, I hold it in high regard so very very happy with that news okay let's get on with everything else I have my notes right here I'm not going to talk about every single thing that was mentioned because that would be absolutely impossible uh, but I'm just going to mention the games that I thought were interesting uh, Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet uh, there was an, a brand new Area Zero that was shown for DLC for me personally, I'm not into that Pokemon game. Uh, I, lo I know a lot of other people are interested in it. Uh, I guess some new DLC is going on there. Not for me personally. Okay, the one game that has my interest peaked, and that is Sonic Superstars. And that's coming out in fall. And you know, over the years, there's been so many Sonic games come out. And this one really rings true for me. It's got a beautiful looking facelift into modern kind of consoles, getting a really cartoony look. I am really charmed by this game. And it's one game, and especially a Sonic game, but I'm like, yes, I'm going to get this game day one. Okay, this is a really weird one. This game came out of nowhere for me, and I looked at it, and I'm like, this hits my inner child. It's called Myth Force, and it seems to be based on Saturday morning cartoons from the 80s. Guess where I'm from? I'm from the 80s. Guess what I watched in the 80s? Saturday morning cartoons. So it looks like you're playing that style of game, running around, you can play with your friends, co-op and things like that. And I think it looks charming. It does have that look of a Saturday morning cartoon from back then, especially with the no cell shading, just one flat colors and things at times. I, I think it's interesting. Will I dive into it? If I see it, and the mood is right, I may pick it up. Uh, Detective Pikachu is making a return again. Man, every time I hear Pikachu talking, it totally takes me out of it. I'm like, this is so weird. He's got such a, like, a deep voice. And I'm like, yeah, I, I, I understand for people who liked it. Again, this is, style of game is not for me. Pikachu. They also announced a Princess Peach game is in the works. 
and I find that fascinating. I think it's a long time coming. Princess Peach deserves her own game, but they're like, they showed it like a teaser and said, yeah, in the future we'll talk about it. It's in development, so we don't really know wh what direction that's gonna go in. I'm telling you, one person is gonna really please, and I have to pick up the game for this reason. My daughter loves Princess Peach, man. All I ever hear is that Peach's song from the Mario movie. She loves it so much. She wants to be Princess Peach for uh, Halloween this year. So I will pick up the game in the future for her and secretly for me. And they showed a remake of Luigi's Mansion. And I'm like, yes, they're remaking Luigi's Mansion 1 in the GameCube. That's what I first thought, but it's not. It's Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon on the 3DS. This one here, I got signed by Charles Martinet, if you're wondering what the scribble is right there. Uh, a really good, uh, you know, Luigi's Mansion game. It was really fantastic. Very hard game, but I'm looking forward to a kind of a remake, remastering of it on the Switch to play on a TV. That will be something else. I, I like the way Nintendo's going back into their catalog and remaking, remastering some of their older games. I'm looking forward to revisiting this one in the future. Xseed showed Silent Hope, a brand new action RPG. And you know what? I was like, this looks pretty good. I've got to watch it again. I've only seen the trailer once. And uh, I, I want to see if I can play with other players. I mean, if me and Kim could play that game together, that would be awesome. Maybe it's just a one-player uh, game at this point. But it looked really interesting. But you're just going through dungeon after dungeon after dungeon. I think that'd be a really cool thing for friends. But maybe it's only a one-player game. They announced Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince. And, uh, you know, I got something to admit here. I have never played... Uh, a, a Dragon Quest Monsters game. I think I played a little bit of one one time, but I really realistically like the mainline series, but I think this is a game that Kim would really, really like, and it's coming in December, so that's definitely something that I think she would be very fascinated to play. She doesn't even know, get this, Kim has finished every Dragon Quest game, but she doesn't even really know about the Dragon Quest Monster games. I've never even really talked to her about it over the years, so I, th I think that's something that she might like. Okay, they show Pikmin 4, that's a game I'm absolutely going to be picking up day one. I mean, I love the original Pikmin games so much. And uh, to see this new one looks pretty fun. They've done a lot of add-ons. You have like a, a sidekick creature now. Kind of like this uh, dog creature that can help you move things around and do other things in the world. Attack monsters as well. It looks charming and it looks like you can stay out at night. And I like that because, you know, the time limit in Pikmin has always been one of those parts of the game that's frustrated me. So if you can go out at night, that's kind of an interesting bit. And that's something else. Talking about Pikmin and my love of the originals. One time I'm going to talk about Pikmin. I'm going to do a whole episode talking about the old Pikmins. I swear to God, have to do that because I picked them up day one on the GameCube right here. Uh, Pikmin 1 and 2. I'm holding these up because they're both getting a remaster on the Switch. And I couldn't be more thrilled because I'm sick and tired of pulling out my GameCube and my uh, Frame Meister to have to upscale these to play them on a TV now. Uh, true classics, especially the first one, is still my favorite. Because uh, obviously it was the first one I, I played in the series, but it was doing something brand new. And so I'm really happy that this is coming out as a remaster. That's only a great thing. They're coming all out with remakes and remasters for this uh, Nintendo Direct. I swear to God. Metal Gear Master Collection Volume 1. We have Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3. And the big swan song for me. Yeah, we get those games. Finally on the Switch. We get Metal Gear on the Switch. But we get the older games as well. The NES games and the MSX games. This is one package that I cannot pass up. I'll have to pick this up. I mean, I've been waiting for Metal Gear to come to the Switch for a long time now, and we're nearly at the end of the Switch's lifespan, but you know what? I'm totally happy to see this come out finally. And you know what? I'm looking forward to going back and revisiting Metal Gear Solid 1 again, and just going playing the MSX games again. Totally cool. Mario Kart 8 is getting even more DLC with Wave 5. I was watching this Nintendo Direct and I'm like, Oh my god, they're still creating DLC for this game. And let me say, you know with me, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is a 10 out of 10 game. It's brilliant. It's amazing. And I like the way they're still supporting it, but it's just so ridiculous. I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I keep waiting for like a new Mario Kart to be delivered, but why would they? 
when they delivered perfection on the Switch. I guess we'll be getting a new Mario Kart in the future with a, a new Switch uh, as they announce it whenever that comes out. Now, strangely, they said that there's going to be a Star Ocean remake, the second story R. And as many of you know, I kind of like the Star Ocean series. I'm not a, a hater, but I'm not a lover of it either. I've, I've always tried. I've always aspired to really be, you know, become one with the series and love the series. But I could never quite get there as a fan. But this remake looks really, really nice. And I really kind of like the art style. It's kind of 2D and 3D. Uh, a lot of different things going on with this art style. I have to say that I am fascinated by it. It's something, when I saw the character profiles pop up on the screen, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll probably pick that up. It looks too nice. It's one of those things. That's what always happens with Star Ocean. They do it like a trailer, and I'm like, no, no, no. Oh, okay, I'll pick up the game. And I played the game, and I'm like, yeah, it was okay. It's always one of those things. Now, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing, and I... I'm not going to be a Debbie Downer here, by any stretch of the imagination. When they said one more thing, I thought it was going to be Metroid Prime 4. I was, I was like this. Metroid Prime 4. Metroid Prime 4. It's going to be it. And it wasn't. And I was, I was very let down by that fact. What they showed was not bad in any regard. It was a brand new 2D Mario, uh, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. And I looked at it and I'm like, this looks really cool. This looks really interesting, in fact. But it just wasn't Metroid Prime 4. I really thought, I really thought we were going to see something about it. Like a, just a teaser saying, next year. It's like, it's so weird to me that there's just no mention of it. It's been so many years. So many years. I mean, we're waiting for this game so bad. Anyways. So I, I watched Wonder, and it looks charming. Like seeing a Mario turn into an elephant, I'm like, okay. I mean, I guess you know, in this game, the strangest things happen, and I and I get that, and I and I appreciate that. But I don't know. I'll ask you guys, what did you think of this Nintendo Direct? Were you impressed? Were you let down? Super Mario RPG for me, man. That's what totally nailed it. Totally nailed it. For that one announcement alone, and the Metal Gear announcement. And you know what? The Pikmin 1 and 2 remake. That got me excited. And you know what? The remaster of this too. I mean, a lot of remasters, but some really great old games making a return, and I was thrilled to see them. So, anyways guys, until next time.